Hi guys, Jerry O'Neill here, Woolcastle Decorating. Uh, so it's been a wee while from I've done a video and to be quite honest with you I've been absolutely flat out at the minute and I believe I've spoken to a right few tradesmen out there who are in the same boat, you know. Um, so it's Sunday afternoon and I'm back to this working Saturdays and Sundays, you know. And I really haven't had much time even to do a video. Uh, so I'm on a bedroom here at the minute. And basically what I'm going to uh, show you or ex try and explain is how to prepare walls for hanging wallpaper. And what I mean by that is basically, you know, there's no point buying wallpaper and you're just going to put it on the wall. You know, you have to prepare it. You have to remove the old wallpaper. And uh, the walls then need to be repaired, filled where necessary, and uh, and then cross lined, which I'm at this stage on this job at the minute. The wallpaper I'm putting on is a uh, piece of wallpaper. It's a matter of fact, ninety percent of wallpapers are now piece of wallpaper. And uh, so anyway, um, so this bedroom basically, uh, it's just forward enough. So if you want a paper room. Straightforward enough, right? Strip the walls. I've done a video on stripping walls, you know. Uh, remove the wallpaper, okay? Get it all removed. After it's stripped, you know, say, I would say probably say, take, say it's a bedroom, it'd take you a day to strip a room. Get everything removed, especially around your sockets in the corners. Everything has to come off, you know. Uh, next job to do is leave it till the next day. Before you even do any filling, give the walls a good sand. Every area of the wall, give them all a good sand. Make sure the walls are nice and smooth uh, before you even do any filling. Um, so get it all sanded down. Then mix up a drop of filler and go around and fill up any cracks, any areas that are uneven, flush them out a wee bit. Um, what I do is the tops of your skirtings, caulk them with uh, a painter's mate basically down the side of your door frames underneath your ceiling or in this case here underneath the picture rail and down each corner of each wall uh, put the, the caulk down there and it's, it helps whenever you're cutting your paper your line of paper and your finished paper it gives you a sharper uh, edge and it's easier to cut and that's basically it and then put your line of paper on you know so it's just forward enough you know well again i always say it's just forward enough when you know what you're doing you know so if i show you this wall here for example you know um you know so as you can see i've laying a paper already on this wall this here wall here so whenever the paper come off i sanded it all down give it a real good sand and um you know uh, there seems to be like an old, I don't know what's been put on this wall from years ago, but like an old primer or whatever. But any dry areas, any bare plaster areas, put a, a coat of paste on before you hang any wallpaper or linen paper. Take the, uh, you're busy sizing the wall, you know. Um, if I show you around here at the radiator, turn this around here. So you can see down here. Again, here we have here. Um, there's two radiators in this room, so again, uh, when you're wallpapering, don't even attempt it. I had the plumber in to take the. There's two radiators here, as I say, to take the radiators off. And uh, you know, there must have been like three layers of paper on top of each other. It was a complete mess, you know. So I got it all stripped down, sanded it. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to put a piece of lining paper in here, then your finished paper. And, uh, yeah, get your plumber, put your radiator back on. Neat, tidy job, you know. And um, I'll just show you over here now, in this wall here. So there's one part. If you turn around this section here, you can see over here, this whole wall here. This has all been laid. If you have it's ready for the finish paper, you know, and you can even see, you know, it, it's a better surface for your paper. It's a smooth.
smooth finish. When your finish paper goes over that, you know, you're not going to see any bumps or lumps or anything like that. You're going to have a nice smooth finish. Uh, you know, your joints aren't going to loosen up. Um, this is the first time I've decorated this room uh, for this customer. They were telling me the previous guy uh, that done it didn't line the walls. And I actually should have done a fitting one, uh, you know, just to show you. Every join had loosened up on this wall. On the whole room, basically. And, um, you know, so you do, it's very, very important to cross line the walls, you know. Then I'll go over here and show you. Just move the camera around here. Another part of the room, this is where the second radiator is here. So, there you go. So, you can see this wall here. Uh, it's burr plaster, so when I took the paper off, um, you know, I, I put a coat of paste in that there, it's been a bit tacky at the minute, so basically says it, and there's a radiator off there. So, uh, yeah, very, very important to take those rods off, I've explained that before, you know, so there you have it. Um, so basically, again, um, just go through it quickly, so, uh, if you want to hang a finish wallpaper on walls, come in, strip the wallpaper, leave it overnight, let the walls dry because it does be quite tacky and sticky when the wallpaper comes off. Let it fully dry, come in the next day, sand all the walls down, take all the wee nicks and bumps off it, nice smooth finish. Then mix up a drop of filler, fill your walls where needed. And like I say, you know, the likes of up here, I'll just show you. Underneath this wee picture reel here, um, caulk up underneath there because that's where you're going to be trimming your paper. Anywhere where you're going to be trimming your wallpaper, put a wee line of caulk underneath there. And as you can see, I've got the ceiling and freeze done in here. Um, the woodwork's been primed. Uh, so before I put the finished paper on, I'll put the finished coat on the woodwork. And um, yeah, so as I say, you know, if you do doing that on, on, you know, that way, you know, strip a wall, sand them, fill them, cock up all the edges, uh, cross line your walls, ready for your finished paper. Okay, so anyway, thanks everybody for watching and uh, any questions, sure, as usual, get back. All the best now, bye.